Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over what a user group is in Slack. A user group is a group of members in a workspace who often need to be notified all at once. An example of a user group might be at managers. As you can see, that user group doesn't currently exist because nothing's coming up when I type it. Using that unique at mention would represent all the members of the manager user group that you've set up in your workspace. User groups are unique to each workspace. So if you're on an enterprise grid plan that is made up of more than one workspace, you can reuse the same user group name in another workspace and have it represent a different group of members. If we stick with this at managers example, different workspaces may have different managers. So the group of members that make up the at managers user group in one workspace might need to be different for another workspace. Because I'm using a business plus paid plan for this Slack instance, I'll only be able to create one at managers user group because I only have one workspace. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a user group. First, we'll navigate to the admin dashboard. So I'll go up to the left-hand corner up here, click this dropdown, go to settings and administration, and then click on workspace settings. From here, under the administration section, we're gonna click user groups. And then we'll go ahead and click edit user groups. So right now I have one user group present, which is the Slack group. I'm going to go ahead and create a new group. We'll go ahead and name this group managers. For the handle, it has to be lowercase. So we'll make it the same. For the sake of time, we'll leave both of these optional fields blank. But this is where you would put the purpose and then add any default channels that you'd like. We'll go ahead and click create group. So I'm the only member of my workspace, so I'd only be able to invite myself, but this is where you would add all the members to the user group. In this case, it would be all the managers that are part of your workspace that you'd like in this group. I'm going to go ahead and just add myself and then click invite. So now that I've created the user group and I've added myself to it, we're going to navigate back to our Slack workspace. So I'm just going to stay in the general channel to make it simple. If we go back down to where I typed at managers in the beginning of the video, if you remember, nothing popped up to distinguish that it was a user group at that time. So if I clear that out and I type in at managers, you'll see that a user group is now showing. So I'll go ahead and click on that. So I'm just going to type some random sentence in and then I'll post it in the general channel. So what this would do is anyone that's a part of the at managers user group would be notified of my message all at the same time. So although this example was really simple, that's really all there is to user groups. The key takeaway for this video is that user groups are extremely useful and are used to notify a group of users all at one time. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.